Hey guys, Kevin here. Just want to share a few tips about how to set up your EcoTank. The first thing you need to do is, of course, to fill, fill up the tank. If you bought a third party uh, ink bottles, you're going to find that those bottles, uh, they fill really, really slow. Uh, the reason is the bottle is designed to go upright. Uh, however, the third party bottle, they, uh, they need to be compatible with uh, lots of models. So they made the, the, the holder uh, be really thin, so it cannot uh, hold its position. So we need something to push the bottle down and also keep its upright position. I usually just use a, a plier and put it on top. If the bottle is still going too slow, you can uh, take the bottle out and uh, turn the 180 degrees, then put it down. Of course, this is for third-party bottles, and the Epson bottle won't have this problem. If you use Epson ink, you're going to find that there is always a little bit of ink left after you initialize the printer. You'll spend like $40 on those inks, so I'm going to show you how to get the last drop out of it. After you filled up all four tanks, and uh, you're going to go initialize the printer, Epson will ask you to hold down the question mark for five seconds, and uh, then push start, and that will suck ink into the printer, and therefore that leave more space to for you to add the last drop of ink inside in, into it. So this is the ink level at the start of uh, initialization. And this is how the ink gets sucked into the printer. So notice the black. It's like a quarter of ink is gone inside the printer. When the initialization complete, and always do an adjustment, which will print out another check. I'll say in 9 of the 10 cases, you're going to get a perfect nozzle check just like this. And now you can start using the printer. Uh, pay attention to the yellow. Make sure all the yellow lines there because it's so light. Some some sometimes people forget to check the yellow. When your first printout is not perfect, and uh, just like this one, then uh, do a second one. Uh, pay attention if the missing pixel is moving around or have any changes. So this is second second cleaning. You can see the black uh, still there, but the color's gone. And also, there are three blacks now uh, mixing. Now we can look like, at like one. So uh, keep doing cleaning when you have changes. So we're going to do another one. This is the third one. Uh, you can see the spot is moving to another location. It's moving around. So what do we do? And the fourth cleaning. So the fourth cleaning, it turned out perfect. So when it's moved around, keep cleaning. Uh, another example, this is a fir first print. Uh, what those are, that those are just air bubbles uh, coming with a printer. So uh, they move around, and uh, once you clean it, it's gone. So the second print is improving, but I notice the right corner of the black has still got a couple pixels of mixing. So we got a third cleaning. Uh, third time is a charm. And two cleanings fix uh, this one. You normally should not do more than four cleanings. And you're going to find a case that the uh, mixing pixel is not going to move around. It's exactly the same. So this is the third cleaning. And uh, so if I do the fourth cleaning, it will be exactly the same. And uh, do not keep cleaning and cleaning. If the mixing spot is uh, exactly the location as before and it doesn't have any changes. Uh, those mixing pixel, pixels are not caused by the air bubbles. Those are caused by the weather solution that uh, the Epson put it in for transport the printer. If you don't believe it, I'm going to do the fourth cleaning. And uh, the fourth cleaning will be exactly like what you had before. If you keep cleaning and cleaning and cleaning, and uh, finally Epson is going to decide that you have a malfunction printhead, and uh, that going to give you more trouble. Uh, see, the fourth cleaning is exactly the, uh, like the last two. What you do in this situation is simple. Uh, leave the printer untouched for 12 hours. 
go to YouTube and watch every video that Kevin made and uh, click like for all of them and then come back after 12 hours. The water solution is going to get dissolved into the ink and then now uh, I'm not doing any cleaning at all. So I'm just come back and I select a print nozzle and uh, remember I did not do cleaning. Uh, I just left it in the in the printer for 12 hours and came back. Let's recap. If a mixing pixel is improving or moving around, we keep cleaning. If they stay at the same location, we're going to stop and come back every 12 hours. I hope you enjoyed this video. Visit us at www.bchtechnology.com or locally, Greensboro, North Carolina. Cheers.